It is a cold night here in Kentucky, and so I thought, hey, what better time to do an updated Man Cave Tour video? My first Man Cave Tour was filmed back in 2019, and recently I've had a number of requests for an updated tour. Some things have changed, and some things have remained the same. So without further ado, here we go. First, let's start by crossing the threshold, on which lays a Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake doormat. Here we have my Fright Night poster that is signed by Amanda Bierce, Chris Sarandon, William Ragsdale, and Stephen Jeffries. Beneath it, we have an original one sheet for the Mutilator, autographed by the writer and director, Buddy Cooper. My buddy Dave from Jersey made me this awesome tombstone. How cool is that? Here is my Phantasm poster. It is signed by Don Coscarelli and Reggie Bannister. Next to it is my Fog mini poster signed by the legend, Tom Atkins. There's my The Burning poster signed by Tom Savini. Nightbreed the director's cut poster signed by the director himself, Clive Barker. They Live mini poster signed by the late great, Rowdy, Roddy, Piper. Sleepaway Camp poster signed by Jonathan Tiersten and Felissa Rose. There's my Lost Boys poster, signed by Kiefer Sutherland, Jason Patrick, Corey Feldman, and Tim Capello. I've got some Lost Boys Funko Pops and a naked David figure there. There are the only photo ops I've ever paid for, with Kiefer Sutherland and Jason Patrick. There's some box sets and boxes for the Ultimate Jason NECA figures atop the collection. There's a hockey mask signed by the late Richard Brooker, Jason from Part 3. He's holding a complete in-box Friday the 13th NES game. That Angela figure is signed by Amelia Kincaid from Night of the Demons. I've got two Phantasm box sets because one just isn't enough. There's a bottle of Yulmust holiday soda that my buddy Oliver sent to me all the way from Sweden last year. That Killer Vinegar Syndrome release for the Beastmaster, and there's Caesar donning a Macho Man cap, and atop that, a Chuck E. Cheese crown. Here's a closer look at box sets old and new for Halloween, Friday the 13th, and Nightmare on Elm Street. There's the Hellraiser Scarlet Box and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Black Maria release. I apologize for the glare, by the way. Here is the collection in all its glory, mostly made up of horror releases, but there are a few non-horror titles scattered throughout. It's, I'd say, about 90% horror, though. DVDs, yes, I still have DVDs, and there's even some VHSs. Now, I know there's lots of people out there who organize their shelves alphabetically, but who has time for that? I like to keep my releases grouped by what company released them. There's my Vinegar Syndrome section. Here's my Scream Factory section, the Arrow section, and so on. Yeah. 
I've got a number of out of print and fairly expensive titles in the collection. If I upgrade a DVD to a Blu-ray, I remove the DVD. If I upgrade a Blu-ray to a better Blu-ray release, then I remove the old Blu-ray. Space is becoming an issue for me at this point. I've got some random figures and various other things placed atop the collection, such as the spooky soundtrack cassette, the old Anchor Base six pack releases. Love those. There's some Second Sight and 101 Films releases. The Friday the 13th box set in Halloween 4Ks. And there are the Friday the 13th VHS releases all the way up through Jason Goes to Hell. Here we have some Anchor Bay 10s. And here we have the Friday the 13th section of the man cave with my altar to mother. I've got mother's head surrounded by candles and vials of lake water from Camp Nobi Bosco, the filming location of the original Friday the 13th. There is the Sideshow Toys Pamela figure. And yes, those are Friday the 13th socks on top. The original soundtrack on vinyl. And what a face. Just look at that dental hygiene. Absolutely impeccable. Let's go clockwise. Starting with my part two poster signed by the late Steve Dash, Adrian King, and Amy Steele. Here's some now very sought after and expensive NECA figures. A part five poster signed by the late director Danny Steinman. Part 5 3D print. More NECA figures. A McFarlane 3D poster. A Part 5 insert poster signed by several cast members. A Part 7 poster signed by Laura Park Lincoln and Bad News Cruise himself, Terry Kaiser. A Jason Goes to Hell poster signed by Adam Marcus. An original Part 2 insert poster. A Part 4 poster signed by Corey Feldman, Judy Aronson, Ted White, and Kimberly Beck. And at the center of the shrine, my Part 1 poster. It's been signed by most of the key players behind the making of the original Friday the 13th, with the exceptions of Kevin Bacon and Harry Crosby.
This poster has been around, let me tell you. It's got some miles on it, that's for sure. And there is the Friday the 13th section in all its glory. I have some 3D prints along the top of the door. They lead to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre portion of the man cave. There's a poster of Chop Top signed by Bill Mosley. Chop Top and Part 2 Leatherface NECA figures. A Part 2 poster signed by Bill Johnson, Bob Elmore, and Carolyn Williams. Two Part 1 Leatherface NECAs. An 8x10 signed by the late Gunnar Hansen. Chainsaw 3 poster signed by Kate Hodge, R.A. Mihailov, and Jeff Burr. That movie Maniac's Leatherface figure still in its packaging was the very first collectible figure, NECA figure, figure figure, whatever, that I ever bought. That thing goes way back with me. I've got quite a number of Leatherface figures. I love the Cinema of Fear plush figures. I've got bobbleheads, busts, the Sideshow figure, the Ultimate NECA, the Spencer's Gifts Leatherface, the Toonie Terrors, Horror Headliners, Funko Pops, the Screen Grabs, still in its box, an original media VHS. It's all Leatherface, all the time. Oh, and I've got masks too. Two Tots Leatherface masks and the old school Rubies mask. I've got the first three issues of the Leatherface comic, a poster signed by Gunnar Hansen, and several more figures around the wall, including the Cinema of Fear Parts 1 and 2 Leatherface and the NECA Cult Classics Part 1. So there you have it, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre portion of the Man Cave. On the door that separates the Friday the 13th and Texas Chainsaw sections, I have a poster for Hellraiser signed by Doug Bradley and Clive Barker. Beneath that, I have Series 1, 2, and 3 Movie Maniacs pinhead figures. And beneath those, I have a signed 8x10 of the Hell Priest, signed by the Hell Priest, Doug Bradley.
Now when there's Jason hanging from the door and hanging from him is an old creepy Santa decoration I found at a secondhand store. Here are two of my bass guitars. First a Sterling Music Man. Love the look of this one and it sounds fantastic. And here's my newest bass, a Spectre. This beauty looks, feels, and sounds absolutely incredible. And you've got to have a Three Stooges door knob hanger. No man cave is complete without one. Here is the man cave couch. It's really my cat's couch because she gets far more use out of it than I do. She sleeps on it and sometimes pukes on it. Good thing about a green couch, it hides the puke stains quite nicely. Gotta have a Jason and Leatherface pillow. This Leatherface pillow is cool because it's reversible. When I feel like dressing up for company, I turn it to the pretty lady. When I'm just doing whatever, I let the killing mask shine. But I've got company over. So, the pretty lady it is. Got some masks I've painted in shadow boxes, a part three, a part six signed by Tom McLaughlin, and a part five signed by Deborah Voorhees. Here's a cardboard promotional mask for the new blood. My Silent Night Deadly Night poster. My Silent Night Deadly Night 2 poster, signed by Eric Freeman. Here's all my Jason busts. There's my boy Roy. There's the first hockey mask I ever bought, signed by Kane Hodder. The NECA NES Jason mask hangs above it. Part 4 Jason with the swag. A Part 5 Hallucination mask from Cursed Camp Productions. Here's a few more masks that I own, none of them I painted. I have an Oz Freddy vs. Jason mask, a new kind of fear ghost Jason mask, and a crash in scene part 4 mask. Most of the Jason busts I own are courtesy of the Devil's Latex, but I have a Camp 13 Creations Part 7 and 8 bust, and a Fear of the Dark Studios NES Jason bust. There's Fulci's The Gates of Hell poster. I adore this artwork. There's an original one sheet for Fright Night Part 2. Date Night Mike is in the house. There's a Part 5 Dream Sequence Hawk with worms. There's me. Here's an original one sheet for Friday the 13th Part 5. Part 2 Freddy Trick or Treat Studios mask, and that moves us to my Nightmare on Elm Street 
corner. I've got a plethora of Freddy figures from Funko Pops to NECA's to Mezco's. Uh, some toys are LJN's from the 1980s, a Freddy Bust from Devil's Latex. There's original VHS releases for Not Real Elm Streets 1 and 2. The McFarland 3D poster. And there's my Nightmare poster signed by Amanda Weiss, Heather Lingenkamp, and Freddie himself, Robert England. Beside it, I have a Dawn of the Dead poster signed by the late, great George Romero. And my Halloween poster signed by John Carpenter. Got a couple of Chuckies hanging out with a couple of Patrick Bateman who are kicking it with Teen Wolf. The Halloween vinyl soundtrack collection. And there's my talking Freddy doll with a bottle of Stoli for him as an offering. Freddy's a vodka man. Who knew? Here's my Friday the 13th Part 5 Shrine. I've got Roy figures, masks, controllers, the vinyl soundtrack, the laser disc, the VHS, and the beta. I also have the Japanese video disc release. There is the video store promo display with light up mask and the light still works. And there is my handmade one of a kind demon figure. Here's my Silent Night Deadly Night Shrine. I've got the original Big Box VHS for Part 1 and the VHS for Part 2. Both Billy and Ricky NECA figures, the SND and Snow Globe. There's an SND in stocking. And a house just isn't a home without a signed Eric Freeman garbage can. Here is my television, gaming, and movie watching setup. My television is a Samsung 65 inch curved screen 4K TV. There's my region free player perched atop my 4K player. I've got some other figures and books and what have you in the cabinets of my TV stand.
There's a stack of movies on my holiday watch list, my PS3 and PS4, both of which I haven't even turned on in months, a couple of books, my camera, one of Jeremy's squishies, there's some umbrella releases I'll be reviewing soon, here's my handmade Michael Myers figure, There is a super creepy old Santa Claus hand puppet thing that I also found at a secondhand store. My German Evil Dead release. And the 18 inch NECA pinhead figure. There is the Evolution of Evil Halloween set. The Ghost Michael NECA Cult Classics. My Jaws 3D poster. Behind Bastard, we have the Halloween 3 mini poster signed by Tommy Lee Wallace. Behind my Tots Halloween 3 masks, I've got some signed 11 by 17 posters. A Zach Galligan signed poster for Waxwork, a Linnea Quigley signed Return of the Living Dead poster, a Lance Henriksen signed Near Dark poster, a Dick Miller signed The Howling poster, a Tony Todd signed Candyman poster, a Robert Brian Wilson signed SNDN poster, an Eric Freeman signed SNDN 2 poster, and a Robert Rustler signed Nightmare 2 poster. There's a Black Christmas poster bearing one of its alternate titles, Silent Night, Evil Night. There's a signed Linda Blair 8x10, Christmas Story mini poster signed by Zach Ward and Yano Anaya, and a Death Wish 3 poster, Just Cause. Now on to my Halloween tower, at the top of which is the Tots Halloween 78 Myers figure. I have the Halloween 3 masks, the Halloween 3 NECA sets, and the 3-0 Halloween 6 Myers figure. There is the vacuum formed part two tots mask that I added some blood tears to. There's my repainted part one tots mask that I he came home NECA set and the tots boogeyman mask. And as you'll see, I've got various Myers figures and whatnot on the shelves with my masks. This is the Part 2 mask shelf, a repainted Tots Part 2, a Blood Tears Warlock, and a standard Warlock. Beneath those you'll find another Part 2 Tots repaint, the Ben Tramer Tots mask, and a Tots Part 2 stock mask that's been signed by Dick Warlock. Underneath that, I have a CGP The Damned Part 6, a Tots Part 5, and a Tots Part 4. There are some jack-o'-lanterns, the Spirit Halloween Myers bust, and a repainted Tots Halloween Kills mask. Here are some SNDN 2 8x10s, signed by my buddy Eric Freeman.
Bucky Myers, ladies and gentlemen. Behind him is the Spencer's Gifts Myers doll, looking all comfy. The Halloween Tower. Here's a Sideshow Toys Myers figure, a Sinister Studios Obsession mask, and some figures still in the box. I guess we could call this the Halloween Cube, which is adjacent to the Halloween Tower. Atop the Halloween Cube, you'll find a variety of different Jason figures. There's the part two 25th anniversary NECA set. On the shelf above it, there are even more Jason figures, both large and small from NECA, Funko, Mezco, Kobotakio, etc. I even have a couple of handmade figures, a part four Jason and a part eight Jason, as well as pieces from the NECA accessory pack. Here is the Freddy vs. Jason section, wherein various Freddy and Jason figures face off in a deadly battle of immortal combat.
Here's a handful of Tater Sack Jason figures, which are standing atop the limited edition Freddy vs. Jason fish tank set. Here are some pinhead figures and lament configurations. It's always handy to have a lament configuration or two nearby. There's the NECA 18-inch Leatherface and Michael Myers figures. Here are some Crow figures. Behind them is a Cinema of Fear Part 3 Jason and a reaction The Crow figure. Here are some more Jason figures, the Cult Classics Part 2 and the NECA Part 3 and Part 4 figures. Now that's a rug. A pathway of reaction figures leads us back to where we began. My rug game is strong in the man cave, you have to admit, and this one is a beast. It's the Mount Rushmore of horror villains. Here's my desk set up with my PC, laptop, etc., along with several coffee cups full of pens, pencils, tape, and various other things. I've got some interesting desk accessories, including the Freddy Squirter, a zombie bobblehead, and a large Frank figure. There are those darling horror yard gnomes I unboxed. There's Pumpkinhead chilling in the back. The Ghost Michael and Young Michael bobbleheads. and more of Jeremy Squishies, which he's strategically placed all throughout the house. And that concludes my updated Man Cave tour. If you have any questions pertaining to any item or collectible that I didn't specifically touch upon, please let me know down in the comments below. This video did require quite a bit of work to complete, so please drop a like on it and let me know your thoughts on my man cave down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season. Jeremy and I would like to wish you the merriest of Christmases. Take care, and until next time, peace. A huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members. I greatly appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and get early access to videos, have a say in what movies I review, and join me for patron-only live streams. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.